He runs, he jumps, and he walks through the door. Hello and welcome to Sun World and today I come to you with another tutorial for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And as you can see we've got two rooms here, small room, big room. We've got a little doorway in the middle. And what we're going to do today is we are going to add a wall that moves as we come closer. So we're going to come towards here, the wall's going to move aside and we're going to walk right through. Sounds pretty cool. Let's get started then. So we've got this doorway here, and now we need like a wall which fits inside, a smaller wall. And to do that what we need to do is we need to change the scale of this grid down to 8. And now you can see more blocks in here, they're all 8 by 8. So what we need to do is we need to make a cube which is 128 high, 128 wide, and 16 breadth. So we built that. And you can see this little thing which fits perfectly in here. And we're going to move that to the side into this big room. And then we're going to add a nice little texture. So find the wall texture that you like. Go into HP3 walls and instead of shift and check, choose walls and scroll down until you find a nice texture. I'm going to just go for this one here because it just stands out uh, quite nice and you click add now we have an additive wall but we can't just turn that into like a moving moving wall what we need to do is we need to turn that into something called a static mesh which is like a 3d model so right click convert to static mesh it's going to go inside like a package and then you can call that package whatever you want. Let's call this uh, tutorial 3 mesh. Um, I'm going to call this a wall. I'm going to call it mover actually. Okay, and I'm going to call the name wall 1 or something. Click OK, and now what you can do is you can get rid of get rid of this blue one here. I'm going to show you why exactly in a minute. You go into static meshes. Uh, you basically zoom or expand, obviously. You can't see a thing. And here you go down to tutorial three mesh or whatever you just called yours, and you got that there. What you need to do now is you need to save this into um, your meshes folder, your go to your game, um, modding HP, HP3, and then static meshes, and then you just save that there. So just rebuild your world, and what you're going to do now is you're going to go into that back into the static meshes thing. Make sure you've got this one highlighted, and on the ground you're just going to go right click, add static mesh, yeah, and the name of that mesh, so what you're going to do now is you're going to put it right in between the doorway here, make sure it's right in the middle, oh that looks awesome, oh gosh, alright now what we need to do is we need to make this move, so we need to turn this into a mover, so keep this highlighted, and down here go to this thing here, it's called add mover, uh, you click it once and there's your, there's your mover. Uh, get rid of this static mesh here and put this purple one in the middle and we're going we're gonna to sort out all the dark, uh, the darkness because it looks pretty dark doesn't it. I'm going to fix that in just a minute. Uh, just rebuild your world. And that looks fine now. So now we need to make sure that it moves in whichever way we want. So we're going to make it move upwards that way. Not upwards. Um, to the right. Okay. 
from Harry's point of view, Harry's looking this way and the moon's going to go like that. So what you need to do is you need to right click, go down to mover, uh, hit key one, move this up to about here, and then go mover, key zero, base, and it will snap back to its position. So what's going to happen now is in the game it's going to go, it's going to move out like this, it's going to move to the side, over here somewhere, and then come back. Uh, once we've walked through. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to need to trigger this mover. We can't just like move it on its own. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a trigger here. Go to our active browser. Go to triggers. Select this one trigger. Um, add trigger here. Bring it a bit closer to the wall. And what we need to do now is we need to make sure that this trigger causes an event to happen. And the event is going to be the mover, the wall is going to move basically, that's the event. Go to the mover properties, go to the movers event section, get this tag here, mover. Change this tag to something a bit more specific. Um, mover wall one and then you're going to copy this tag over here now you need to right click your trigger properties go to events and you see this event you're going to paste that into the event section move a wall one we need to change the um this as well the move properties go to object initial state we change that to uh, trigger toggle or trigger open timed. I'm going to go with this one. This is the one I always use normally. I'm not sure it matters much. It's just personal preference. And if you click rebuild. Yeah. And we also need to add the same trigger on the other side as well. So that when we, we don't get stuck in this room. We need to get through this room, into this room, and then back and forth, so it works on either side of the wall. So, rebuild all of it, let's save this, and let's see if it's gonna, if it's gonna work. I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I booted up the game, everything looks fine, everything looks beautiful, nice purple beautiful carpet. Got Harry running around, he runs, he jumps, and he walks through the door. As you can see, um, the door moves, so I can go from this side as well. And that, that's that's our, our two triggers opening the door. So guys, uh, I've really enjoyed making this video. I hope you liked it as much as I liked making it. If you like this video, if you want to see more, please subscribe, give us a like. And if you've got any really cool ideas for new videos, please put them in the description. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to make a sky. And we're going to actually see through the ceiling into the sky. We might add some windows as well on the side so that we can look through into the beautiful night sky. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, Harry's looking at me now. Stalking me. Anyways, um, I hope you like this. Um, I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.